My friends, this is another one of those days where I have a whole lot of topics to cover with you, and we'll get to all those topics right after this. Hello, my friends. Jerry Rosa here, the Rosa Stringworks Workshop. It is Tuesday, May 16th, and that reminds me that we'll be at Dickie's Barbecue Pit this evening jamming, and I am going to be sure to vibrate my hand a whole lot before I get there so I can play. Uh, last week, I didn't have a chance, and it showed up big time in all kinds of pain. So I'm hoping that I'll be able to get through it this Tuesday. And I'm especially hoping because I have a friend, a longtime friend. He was a close friend of my brother Scott. You've seen on the channel many times building the guitar and playing music, etc. And the friend's name is Don Powers. Someone paid for him to spend the weekend here at our rental retreat. So I say thank you to the, the person that donated that uh, trip for Don Powers. And so Don's going to be at the restaurant this evening as well, as far as I know. So it should be a good time. We're going to have fun. Hopefully you saw the new video I just put out last night. It's about all the improvements I made to the sawmill. I have been using that sawmill for many years, but uh, as you know, I decided to make a few improvements to it this year, and I think they were all really good improvements and have made the saw much more professional feeling and uh, it just feels like it really operates well now. Speaking of the sawmill, uh, I you know showed these boards yesterday. This is one of the walnut boards that I sawed and I just thought you might be interested to see what the moisture content is and you can see that it's still on overload. Now keep in mind this log was cut probably 10 years or more ago. Might even been 15 years. It's been a long time laying out there. I know that. So the log could have dried on its own, but it, it did, never did. And you can see, and now it's been, uh, you know, cut into small pieces like this. And it's been sitting in the shop here for about three days. And uh, it hasn't dried down below the 30% mark where this thing starts working. So it's still very wet. I also had a number of requests for making a video on using the quarter saw attachment on the sawmill, and that video is coming. In fact, I may start working on that yet today, but hopefully that video will be released this Friday or Saturday. So there will be a video coming on that subject, and you will see how the quarter saw attachment works in detail. I would be sawing a bunch of my cedar logs that I have piled up out there, except that it won't stop raining now. Two weeks ago, we had basically a drought. It was a drought for about three weeks, and you think of that's not much of a drought, but in the springtime, that's a pretty big drought. The ground was just dirt, dust dry, and uh, in the springtime, that's kind of rare around here. But now it won't quit raining, so I can't go out and cut any of my uh, cedar logs, which I have time to do now, and I would love to be cutting those and get that over with. I want to give you a reminder that we're going to go to Mountain View, Arkansas on June 8th through the 11th. Mountain View, Arkansas, if you don't know, is just a music town. It's a town... Oh, it's like a little tiny Branson or something. There are multiple uh, music theaters and venues down there. Uh, they're all smaller mom and pop type places, but a lot of people jam out under the gazebos or around the uh, courthouse square, and that's what we'll be doing. We'll just be jamming at different locations. If you decide you want to come down there and uh, be with us and have some fun with us, just uh, send me an email and I will send you my text phone number and that way you can get a hold of me when we're down there and find out where we're at. I called uh, the boys at uh, Gasco Sage uh, Electric yesterday about my fiber optic internet service and I had to leave a message and I have not heard back yet. So I'll try to be patient till about noon. If I don't hear back by then, I'll probably be calling again. <laughs> and the final bit of news is on the 19th of this month, so just in a couple of more days, it will be what I consider to be my 40 year anniversary doing musical instruments and things like that. It was 40 years ago on May 19th that I finished my very first mandolin. I think it is significant that you've done something for 40 years. And the last little tidbit of news is that the uh, video count is back up again. Uh, the viewership is up and the uh, 
subscribership is up. We are now at 93,521 subscribers as of this morning. And it seems to be growing at a fairly good rate right now, which makes me want to believe that we will hit 100,000 this year. <laughs> <laughs> it's up and down, up and down, up and down. But that's just the nature of the business. Hopefully I'll be pulling in some new people with this different content that we have during my hiatus. For those of you who are new, typically my videos are about working on musical instruments, building and repairing musical instruments. But I am on a couple of months hiatus to just do farm chores and catch up around the farm here because I just have neglected everything for years and there's a lot of things I just want to get done. And so I plan to just take as long as I need to take to get everything caught up to the point where I'm happy. If you have any good ideas for my uh, 40th celebration, just put those in the comments. If you would, please give me a thumbs up on the video and I will see you tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you.